welcome to my channel. My name is Erica. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you are new, welcome. If you are a returning viewer, thanks so much for coming back for another fun tutorial. So today we're going to be making this super easy and definitely beginner friendly zipper pouch. It is a lined zipper pouch. Has this cute little handle on the side and then these small little boxy bottoms on the bottom. This is a super easy project. So if you're worried about the zipper, please don't be. Watch this video all the way through and I think you'll find that installing a zipper is really super easy and it makes your bag look nice and finished. So let's go ahead and take a look at all the supplies we're going to need to make this project. So this is a great scrap box buster. Um, as you can see, I've just got a variety of strips here. They're not even all the same size. You can use um, however many or however few strips you would like. You can make them however um, thick you would like. Just make sure that when you're done sewing, your measurements are the same as what's in the pattern. Mine will be about 10 inches wide by about um, 17 inches long. So just make sure that whatever combination of scrappy, patchworky stuff you have going on, you end up with a size that is approximately that size. You'll also need a zipper, and this zipper just needs to be longer than your project. This is a, mine I think is a 14 or uh, something inch zipper. Um, 12 would probably also be fine. You'll need some fabric for your little handle. You'll need some batting and then you'll need some lining fabric and of course your regular sewing supplies. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're gonna start off and prepare our little handle just because that's super easy. We can just get it done and out of the way. So all I've done is taken my fabric and pressed it in half and then I also pressed in both of the edges by one quarter of an inch. And then we're gonna just line those up together. And then I pressed them one more time and we're just gonna take them to the sewing machine and just run a stitch all the way down this side and then this side just to kind of give it a finished look. You don't need to worry about the edges. Those will get caught when we attach it to the bag. And I'm just gonna run a stitch kind of close to the edge, not quite a quarter inch away from it, more like a eighth of an inch or so. Just making sure that you catch both pieces. Alrighty, and then I'm gonna do the same thing for the other side. This is our folded edge, but it just helps with symmetry. All right, so here is our handle, and we're just gonna go ahead and set that aside. All right, so here are my strips for the outside of my bag, and as you can see, I've just kind of arranged them in a way that is pleasing to the eye. I've trimmed them approximately the same length. I believe I gave myself some extra on these, so they're about 19 inches long. We're only going to need 17 inches, but just in case things get wonky when I'm sewing, I'm going to go ahead and just sew them in order like I have them here. Just straight quarter of an inch seam. And like I said, this one, they're all different sizes. So I think this one's two and a half inches. This one might be two, one and a half, two. This one looks like about one and a half and then another two and a half inch strip. So they don't have to be the same. If you'd like them to all be the same, that's fine. Just make sure that when you are done sewing them all together, you have a width of 10 inches by at least a length of 17 inches. Okay, so to sew these strips together, I'm just going to line them up right sides together. And the right side is basically the pretty side. The wrong side is the um, plain side or otherwise known as the wrong side. So I'm putting them right sides together and I'm just lining up these raw edges together and then I'm going to sew them like I said at a quarter inch seam all the way down and this is just straight down this strip so super easy. Okay and then we just open up our strips like this and then I'm just gonna bring my next collar, again, place it right side down on the previous strip. And then we're just gonna keep sewing and we're gonna add all of our strips using that same method. So 
so here is my piece and I've just pressed it nice and flat and then I've also trimmed it so that it's 10 by 17 and now we're going to put it on our piece of batting and I always forget to mention this in the um, supplies section so I apologize but I like to use 505 basting spray just to keep this in place while we quilt it um, if you don't want to quilt this instead of batting you can use fusible fleece or some kind of interfacing that would work just as fine um, since we've got these stripes I think the quilting lines make it look kind of extra special so I'm going to go ahead and do this. Um, I just spray a little bit on my batting here, not a whole lot. As you can see, there's not a whole lot of overspray or anything. It's really just enough to hold this guy in place while I am quilting. And I just usually do one side and then lift it up and do the other side. All right, now I'm just going to take this over to my machine and I'm just going to probably run some straight lines down these um, seams right here just to kind of echo those lines and make them pop out a little bit more. But again, you can do whatever you prefer. All right, so I have just trimmed my piece here. It is attached to my batting, like I said, and now we're ready to install our zipper. So we're gonna go ahead and take our zipper, and for those of you who are new to zippers, it's super easy, so um, don't be nervous. This is like probably the easiest zipper you can ever do. We're going to place it right side down, and right side on a zipper is the side with a zipper pull. So go ahead and leave your zipper fully closed like this. We're gonna place it right side down, so the zipper pull is touching my table here or the right side of my fabric. And I'm actually just going to center my zipper. Don't worry that it's hanging off the edges. Like I said, that's why you kind of have a longer zipper. And what we're gonna be doing is just lining up this raw edge of the zipper with the raw edge of your fabric there. And then you're gonna take a lining piece and place that right side down. Oops, going the right direction, <laughs> this way. And again, line up the raw edge of your lining with the raw edge of your zipper and the raw edge of your bag. And then you can either use some pins or some wonder clips. I like to use wonder clips for this part, uh, but I don't have mine out today. So I'm just gonna stick a couple pins in there just to keep everything straight. And then we're gonna take this over to our machine. We're just gonna sew along this edge, making sure we catch all three layers, our outer layer, our zipper, and our lining. All right, now normally I don't use a zipper foot. I just use my quarter inch foot on my machine, but I figured I'd show you how to use one in the event that you had one. So this is what the zipper foot looks like. And as you can see, it's really skinny. And then there's a hole on this side and then on this other side, and that's where your needle will go. And that enables you to get right up next to those zipper teeth when you're sewing. So in order to put that on, Right here on the back of your presser foot, there's usually a little lever, and if you press that, it will drop off your current foot, and you can remove that. And then you can kind of just align your presser foot under there, and then lower it, and it should just snap right on, and now our zipper foot is on. And you just wanna make sure that your needle is lined up with the right hole so you're not gonna accidentally puncture your zipper foot if you have a machine whose needle can move side to side like this one. Okay, next we're gonna go ahead and just put in our fabric here. And we're gonna line up our zipper foot as close as we can to these teeth. We of course don't want to sew on the actual teeth themselves. So just get close. Make sure all of your layers are lined up nice and straight. And then we're just gonna sew right down this edge. So here's what we should be having now. I've just gone ahead and pressed this and then we should have our little piece of lining on this side. And then just make sure when you press these back that the right side of, side of your zipper or the side with a zipper pull is facing up. All right, so now we're gonna kind of do the same thing. So we're going to take the other end here and then we're just going to bring up the zipper again with the right side facing down. So we're just gonna line that up along the top edge up there. So as we can see, we have our zipper pull right there. Line all that up. We're gonna take our other piece of lining fabric, right side down, and line that up. And then just make sure when you're lining all these raw edges up and everything that you know these side edges 
match up. Just so that everything is nice and straight. Okay, and then we're just gonna pin that down. And again, we're gonna take this over to our machine and just like we did before, we're gonna sew as close to our zipper teeth as we can without sewing through them and just sew a straight line right down here. Okay, you should have something that looks like this. You've got two lining pieces, and then your outside piece is kind of a circle. And I've gone ahead and pressed back both my lining pieces. Now for this next step, it'll probably be easier if you unzip your zipper all the way, so it's kind of out of the way. And we're gonna take it over to the machine, and I'm just going to do a top stitch right down this edge, probably about an eighth of an inch away from the fabric, so just you know, right here. It kind of helps hold the lining and the outside in place. It also just gives your um, bag a little bit more of a finished look. So we're gonna do that on both sides here. All right, so here is what our bag should basically be looking like. And now we're going to take our bag and make sure that the zipper is closed by, I don't know, about halfway or less. Just make sure it's past this side over here where we're gonna be sewing, um, but open on this side because we're gonna turn our bag through that. So we're going to line it up so that the outside of our bag is over here and then the lining pieces are on this side all right so i'm just going to kind of pin these edges here and then while i'm doing that i'm going to line up my zipper teeth and how i do that is line up my zipper teeth so that the teeth are actually pointing towards the outside of the bag okay hopefully you can see that there I bend my teeth so they're going towards the outside of the bag. Because once you get down here, you're going to find that you're going to have to make a decision on which way these should go. And I've just found like, I've just found that to work the best. So I go ahead and line up the zipper teeth first. And I am going to use a wonder clip there just because it's a little bit easier. Okay, and then now I can pin all the way around the rest of my bag, and I'll probably just throw a couple um, wonder clips on here. Now before we close up this side of our outside, we're gonna take our um, handle that we made right at the beginning, and we're just gonna fold it inside, and then we're gonna turn it this way, so these are the raw edges, and this is my loop. And we're gonna tuck it inside of our lining side, and I have mine, what is that, about, two inches down or so. You can kind of put it wherever you want, one and a half inches down maybe. And so you've got the outside of the bag, your strap pieces, two of them, raw edges, and then the other outside. And we're just gonna go ahead and put a clip to hold that guy in place. So that'll be our handle. Again, you want the folded portion of your handle pointing towards the inside of the bag and the raw edges along with the raw edges. And now what we're gonna do is sew around this whole thing but we're gonna leave about a two to three inch, yeah, let's leave at least about three and a half inches opening down here to turn our bag. So you can sew across and then up both sides. And like I said, just make sure your zipper teeth are pointing towards the outside of your bag. Okay, so we're just gonna start here, back stitch um, at both of your um, bottom openings here. Leave your needle in the down position, turn your project, and keep going.
All right, so now we should have something looking like this. We've sewn all the way around and we should still have our opening down here. If you don't have this, uh, just use your little seam ripper and seam rip that open really quick. Now we are going to box the bottoms of our bag and we're gonna do the same thing on all four corners. So I'm gonna go ahead and just, so I'm sticking my hand all the way through the zipper and down to this far side and I'm putting my fingers and my thumb in each corner like this so I can kind of sandwich them together like that. And then we're gonna kind of turn them sideways. Might help if you unzip your zipper a little bit more as well, that's what I just did. Okay, and then just kind of get them all nice and straight like so. Okay, and then we're gonna flip back one of these sides here. We're just gonna do one corner at a time. And you can either use a regular square ruler or I've got this little triangle ruler that I got from Maxi Makes in one of my boxes. And this is super cool because you can just put it right here and it will show you if I want, say, a one and a half inch box bottom, just put it right there and then I can draw my line on. If you don't have this fancy ruler, you can use this ruler and I use this 45 degree line right here on it and I line that 45 degree line up with one of these sides over here and then put my one and a half inch point right here at the bottom and then draw a line across there that way and we're going to draw a line like that we're gonna take this over to the sewing machine and we're gonna sew directly on this line and just backstitch at the stop and start. And I always like to just throw a wonder clip on there just so it doesn't move around on me when I'm taking it to my machine. Okay, so again, we're just lining that diagonal line up with the diagonal of our fabric and then our one and a half inch point right there, like so. Throw another wonder clip on there and that is the bottom same deal on the lining so we're just going to hook our fingers into the lining here it's a little bit harder on this piece because you've got this hole here but same concept okay so I'm just gonna fold that bit back make sure I've got this all the way pulled out down to the point down here again I'm going to place my ruler on here Whatever size you did on the outside of the bag, just do that same size on the lining. Since the lining is thinner, I'm gonna go ahead and just throw a pin in there. Okay, now we're gonna take all four of our boxy bottoms over to the sewing machine. And like I said, we are going to sew directly on this line, front stitch and back stitch on the outside of the bag. Um, you don't have to on the line, but you can if you like to. Okay, so here's what your project should be looking like. We're gonna go ahead and take our scissors here and just cut off about a quarter of an inch away from our line, or a half inch maybe. Okay. And then the other thing we're gonna do is cut off our extra zipper. Okay, now we can go ahead and turn our bag right side out. So we're just gonna reach in through our opening down here, carefully. Turn it right side out. Make sure that your zipper or your tab here should be coming out the side there. And then I like to go ahead and just reach in with my fingers and poke out those corners like that okay and then the last thing we need to do is just close up this opening down here so I'm just going to finger press these uh, both sides in about a quarter of an inch it should kind of naturally go that direction as well I'm just gonna kind of finger press it and then I'll take that over to my machine and just so right across that edge to close up that opening Okay, our opening has been sewn closed and then we just need to 
push that down inside of our little zipper pouch here. And then I like to just pop the zipper up a little bit on the corners just to make sure it's all out. And there we go, we've got a lined zipper pouch. All right guys, so that is it. As you can see, this was a super easy project. Hopefully it helped you if you were worried about putting in zippers as well. See that it's not hard at all. And it's nice and lined and finished on the inside so it has a really nice professional look to it. Um, if you wanted to make this project even faster and easier, you could just skip the um, scrappy kind of outside strips that I did here and just use one solid piece of fabric that is again 10 by 17 inches and you could do this project in probably only about 30 minutes or less. So that's it, I hope you enjoyed this project. If you did, please make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe. That way I know to keep making fun tutorials for you guys. Thanks so much for joining me today and I will see you next time. Bye!